Hello. No camera today. My camera is freaking out, so I gotta fix that for our next stream. We are gonna be summoning for the Black Swan. Look at her. Oh my god. This, this is not okay. She looks absolutely gorgeous. I want her now. Okay, we did not one tap this, which is totally fine. This is our second multi. Three multi, we didn't get anything. All right, give me a sec. Let me um convert. All right, 12K should be enough because we're gonna win 50-50, right? No L's. Good night and hello. We're gonna have to see five star very soon, but it doesn't seem like we're lucky today. Here we go. All right, all right. Okay. Let's fucking go, man! Oh, Misha as well! It's my first time getting him or her. Okay, let's go ahead and pull for her Lycone. Can we? Possibly! One tap this! Oh, please! Oh, it's a new Lycone? Increases the wearer's break effect by 28%. When the wearer uses their ultimate, increases crit rate by 50%. Hmm, break effect? Oh, what is this luck? Last one, hopefully. No. Hopefully, last one. Ah. It doesn't matter. Oh, S4. Now, give me S5. Not that I'm gonna use it, but whatever, man. Black Swan Lycon. Okay, defense. Oh, shit! I have this at S5 now. Okay. Yes! Ayo! Although we did hit the soft pity, we did not lose anything today. Let me see what she's capable of. Let me take a look at her constellations. While Black Swan is active in the battle, enemies afflicted with wind shear, bleed, burn, or shock will have their corresponding wind, physical, fire, or lightning rest. Ooh! Oh my god! Her E1 is quite tasty! E2. When an enemy target afflicted with Arcana is defeated, there is a 100% base chance of inflicting 6 stacks of Arcana on adjacent targets. Ooh! I don't know what Arcana is, but sure. While in the Epiphany state, enemy targets have their effect risk reduced by 10%. And at the start of their turn or when they get defeated, Black Swan regenerates 8 energy up to one time while Epiphany lasts. And the trigger count resets when Epiphany is applied again. And when enemy target gets attacked by Black Swan's allies, she has 65% base chance of inflicting one stack of Arcana on a target. Every time Black Swan inflicts Arcana on a enemy target, there is a 50% fixed chance to additionally Increase the number of Arcana stacked this time. Ooh, okay, okay. We gotta find out what Arcana is. What's Arcana? Skill? Deals damage, single target, and any adjacent targets. At the same time, there's a 100% base chance of inflicting one stack of Arcana on the target enemy and the adjacent targets. Additionally, there's a 100% base chance of reducing their defense of the target enemy. It's a target by 14.8%. Okay, everything else don't really matter, I guess. Well, let's take a look at the ultimate though, Epiphany. All enemies for two turns. Uh, enemies take 15% increased damage in their turn. Oh, all the newer characters, they have all those functions that we need. When an enemy target enters battle, there's a 65% base chance for it to be inflicted with one stack of Arcana. Every time an enemy target receives dot during a single target attack by ally, there's a 65% base chance for it to be inflicted with one stack of Arcana. The maximum number of stacks that can be inflicted during one single attack is three. Okay, increase the unit's damage by an amount equal to 60% of effect hit rate up to a maximum of 72%. You want 120 EHR. That's why people are crying out loud for it. Okay, where shall we test this whole thing? It seems like the only place I can go is a pure fiction. Okay, let me guess. The pure fiction has dots related shit. Okay, okay. They have it. Increases dot taken by the enemy targets by 15%. I'm pretty sure there's no L Crunticators that would do a showcase here because that shows how OP the dot characters are. Okay, here we go. What's our technique? Gotcha! What did we just pull? Excessive praise. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be playing this manually. 
Arcan oh what the f what who oh? honestly though I feel like the reason why this domain exists is because they want you to have fun they want you to figure things out they want you to pull for characters that you like and just have fun with it she's gonna make her look like she's more broken than she is I wouldn't even say she's broken, because in practical cases, it's not gonna put too much highlight on her. We should definitely try MOC and see if she's, like, actually this broken. I doubt it though, because the last Memory of Chaos rotation doesn't have, like, dot buff, right? So let's go back to Memory of Chaos, where we don't get any bonus at all, and see if it's practical to use Black Swan, so that we can figure out if it's worth it for you to spend money on her if you by any chance want to improve your team, right? Because most of the time, when you're going for this character, then you might want to improve your dot characters, yes? Fuck. They're not weak to wind. So we bring her to the extreme condition where we go against a monster that is not weak to wind or whatever or lightning even, right? And see if that works. If that works, she's gonna be good in anywhere else. Okay. All right, let's go. Ass. Nice. Hmm. Oh my god. <gasps> 54k. Okay, fog. Spam skills! Spam ultimate! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I think the best way for you to use Black Swan is by pairing her up with Kafka. And obviously, you can use her with somebody else as well. Like, you know, Sampo. It's always a good idea for you to match the element for your main DPS and a sub DPS. Because, you know, you're going against like a big boss usually. You know, it's kind of necessary for you to match those elements and be able to break them faster. Holy shit, this guy's dead. My god. So can we kill this deer? Ah! Wrong order! That's okay! Okay. And also, even this memory of chaos is a little rigged because they have so much debuffs. Not bad, but like I said, this is an extreme test, so uh, we're not breaking this deer. <laughs> okay, I think I have seen enough. I think we have came to a state of the game where we got the message from Hoyoverse that they're not going to make us wait too much for the character that we have missed out. Because remember when we missed out on Locha and we were just like fucked for a long time? All those characters that came out after Locha was like compatible with him perfectly. And if you didn't have him, you would suffer from skill points. But now it seems like even if you don't have Kafka, Black Swan, she's still fully functional by herself. And she's compatible with a lot of other characters, right? I would not like to say this character is broken, but she actually does seem like a, a must pull if you enjoy dot teams. Anyways... Unfortunately, my camera is not working today, so I can't have my face, but hey, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.